nobody's marching for the dead Muslims in Yemen. Their co-religionists, we're always told about, care so much about their co-religionists, don't give a damn about their co-religionists. They really don't. Muslims do not love other Muslims. They have no love for them. They have no love for the Palestinian peoples. None. If they had any, the Jordanians would have taken in the West Bank Palestinians. Hello guys, what's up? Hi guys, I hope you guys are feeling good. Welcome back to the show now. I just have a quick like real simple. We're back again to very interesting and amazing video by Douglas Murray. And he really got so heated and so educative and smart, but with no further ado, let's just bounce to the video. And the title of the video is the Israel and Palestine double standard. We know these guys have had a lot of double standard, but let's check this clip out and let's see how the conversation went. Let's go. I'm so fed up of the double standards on all of this. Um, <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Muslims have been killed in the last 12 years by Bashar al-Assad and other Muslims in the civil war in Syria. There's no one on the streets of Sydney or Melbourne. There's no one on the streets of London. We have seen hundreds of thousands of people killed in the last decade in Yemen, Muslims being killed. There's no one on the streets of Melbourne. Nobody is standing outside the Sydney Opera House calling gas the Hutu, or ga gas the Houthi, ga gas the Shia, gas the... Nobody's marching for the dead Muslims in Yemen. Their co-religionists, we're always told about, care so much about their co-religionists, don't give a damn about their co-religionists. They really don't. Muslims do not love other Muslims. They have no love for them. Mm. They have no love for the Palestinian wow. peoples. Just None. getting to hear this now. If they had any, the Jordanians would have taken in the West Bank Palestinians. The Egyptians would have taken in the, 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 the territory they used to run, the Gaza and own the Gaza, and they would have taken in the Palestinians from the Gaza. Why have the Egyptians made sure that not one uh, Palestinian is allowed to leave Gaza? Why, why do they make sure that their border wall is tough as anything? What do they mind? One thing, Jews living. Jews living and Jews winning. Hmm. It hits them deep in their soul, in their psyche. It's an ancient, ancient hatred. Perhaps the most ancient among the monotheisms. And uh, the deepest and the ugliest, the nastiest. And the one that has been least addressed. And we've imported it. As we sit here, um, roughly the same populations, population of the Gaza is being forcibly moved by the government of Pakistan. Almost two million Muslims are being moved by the Pakistani authorities into Afghanistan. Okay, we have a very large Pakistani mm. community here in the UK. Okay. If their country of origin can do that, why can't we? If it comes to that, if it comes to that, if it has to come to that. Um, why does nobody notice this? Why is nobody saying this is an appalling war crime by the Pakistani government? Well, only because there are so many Pakistani politicians and others in the UK and other countries who have a deep, a deep uh, connection to their country of origin and would never want to, uh, to see it looked at in a bad way. Um, they will not criticize that. They haven't said a word about that. Um, so, no, I think that if you are zoning in, zooming in on Israel, lambasting Israel, and are basically not bothered with everything else in the world. You're not, you're not motivated by anything other than being anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic, um, of course. And, and it just has to be said. I mean, I've said this so many times that I, I tire myself with it, but it's necessary to say anti-Semitism <coughs> is a shapeshifter. It's a shapeshifting virus. It can come from anywhere. At times in the past, it was the case that people didn't like Jews because they were seen to be a different religion and, and strange and different, and so they were hated for their religion. Then after the wars of religion, you couldn't hate anyone for their religion, so people started to hate the Jews for their race. Then after the Holocaust, you couldn't hate people because of their race anymore, so people hated the Jews because of their nation. On and on. Mm. Wow. That's a whole lot. Like, I didn't get to know this before. 
But is it true that the Muslims hate the Muslims? Because I kind of see the love they share among themselves, but I don't know about general Muslims if they truly don't like themselves. But I've not seen them protesting about something before. I feel like maybe they keep their own religion private and they like their things being coordinated and they don't like their religion being on the public, you know. When it comes to the Muslim, the Muslims are actually kind of different especially and breed of religion because the religion has a lot of principles, a lot of rules, a lot of um, um, guidance and factors protecting and bonding them together. But with this saying the Muslim don't like the Muslim, I don't know about this though because I've seen them show themselves love, like for real. And I know this double standard has been an issue because they don't want to pick a side. They don't want to be like, okay, we are actually good to you guys or we are actually bad to you guys. It's been, okay, we are good sometimes. We can be just all of a sudden become bad, you know. We can be good today and the next day we are training like five missiles. So I feel like since these countries are Muslim countries, they should be able to control this war and live in harmony since they claim that religion can keep them together. So I feel like they should be able to guide yourself and not go against and have a lot of wars going on every time and every time and every time. Understand though that the whole world, people are different no matter their religion. Like they are just different no matter their religion. Anyways, Douglas Murray said everything though. He said everything literally. And I really understand what he was trying to say, but that's Muslim not liking the Muslims. I don't think that's possible. Like, I don't really think. But anyways, let me get your own feedback. Let me know what you think about Muslim not liking Muslim because it's really an issue though. Let me know what you think about the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching and watch out for more. Thank you guys. Peace and God bless you.